What is going on guys, Spasmatic here, back inside Destiny, and today I'm going to be bringing you a Golgroth guide on how to kill Golgroth in the hard mode King's Fall raid that came out last Friday, and Golgroth, as you guys may know, is the ogre, the second boss inside of the King's Fall raid, and for hard mode, they there were a, well, there was a change, a pretty big change, that many people struggled when they first encountered Golgroth. It is, he is one of the tougher bosses inside of the King's Fall raid, but once you understand the mechanics, it is pretty easy to get it down. So, as you can tell, me and my group are taking out him right now on the, uh, the Pool of Reclaimed Light. And as you can tell right now, I am marked with Unstable Light. And yes, that is the new mechanic that was added inside the hard mode. So, when, whenever you see green stuff around your screen or you have the Unstable Light, it's telling you that you have to get out of the way of your teammates and run away from them because if they are near you, when that blows up, they will die. You basically turn into a cursed thrall whenever the um, unstable light catches you, and it only catches on you when you are fighting Golgroth in the pool of reclaimed light. You do not get it when you're shooting ads or doing anything else because it is the new thing they added inside of uh, the King's Fall for Golgroth. And right now, we're just waiting to kill some ads. The ads are spawning, and once you kill the ads, you can take down the other. Um, bubble I, that's what I call it take down the bubble and the front left one because you can do it and you can do uh, the succession um, do them in succession like take down one and two and three in a row but for my group the, the um, method we used we just took one out and went down and then came back out and did it over again so I think it's a better way it's more safe because you don't have to worry about dying in the middle by so many cursed thralls spawning and it's just easier because you can do one and you do a decent amount of damage. You can only do this, it'll probably take you around three to five runs, like I'm saying. Because this is our second and he's, I think he's about halfway once you uh, complete your second one. So, once you take down the bubble, obviously the gazer shoots hit the back of his head, the red spot, to get his gaze. And orbs will be sent to him, um, Axion darts will be sent to the gazer and he has to take them out while us while we're sitting in this pool of reclaimed light we have to do damage to Gorgroth on his stomach well because the pool of reclaimed light gives us bonus damage and I recommend using snipers for this because it is really good black spindle is one of the best snipers for Gorgroth I've heard so since that time you guys know that I did not get unstable light that time so I did not have to jump out early and the people who do I think it's like one or two people maybe three and they're all random so if you get picked with unstable light it's best to run away from your teammates um our group we chose to um run near the exit of Golgroth next when we're running to the next part of the raid run back in that cave because it's no one goes back there and it's a good spot unless you can also come back to the door when you first enter Golgroth's fight and it's also a good place to run when you have unstable light but key is just to stay away from your teammates you do not want to be near them because if you do, they'll blow up and they'll die. And yes, one of our teammates died on this, so we just ended up 5 manning Goroth. It's not too bad, actually, because since the Unstable Light is the only change, it just means two people have to get out earlier than normal, which isn't too bad, actually. The only thing is that um, adds are tougher, I guess, and Goroth may have a little bit more health because our weapons, we have to be higher light to do more damage. So we were only like 3 308 to 310. And this is recommended 310, I believe, or 320. I'm not sure, but it actually wasn't that hard. I think we got it, got him, got him down on our third try um, overall. And this is my first time ever attempting it as well, um, too. On I think it was Saturday, the day after it came out, is when I completed the raid. I didn't actually haven't completed it yet. I still have to do Oryx, but um, we did kill Golgroth on this um, attempt, which is pretty nice. So. As you guys tell, the, whenever the screen shakes, that's when the person with unstable light blows up. And that's when it goes off because you do not want to be near them. As I keep saying before, and yes, another person on our team just died. So now we are formatting Golgroth hard mode to complete him. And the new mechanics they've added, I mean, I think they should have added more. Because unstable light is kind of tricky at first, but once you understand how it works it's one of the easiest things in this fight because you just it's all you do is jump out early and get away from your teammates i feel like they could have added more mechanics to make this a lot harder such as i've heard rumors that like the person who's gazing could get blinded but that is not a thing and there's also things that he could also tremor if you guys have done an agronark rune 
whenever the ogre smashes the ground at the end, or I think it's Agonarch, or whatever it is, the when the ogre smashes the ground, tremor occurs, and that's when you cannot move. You're basically stuck in place, and you can't um, walk or run around. You're just stuck in like glue or something, which is also another rumor of a mechanic, but it is not one. The only one currently is unstable light because I know a couple like minutes ago. Luke Smith announced that there is going to be a challenge mode inside of King's Fall, which I cannot wait for. I do not know much about it, but I did hear about challenge mode being added. I'm guessing it's going to be new mechanics as well, and maybe perks or modifiers that will be added as well, which will be really nice to see. Make the raid a lot more exciting and more uh, harder, I guess, because having just unstable light on Golgroth wasn't really a huge change. And yes, I'm 307 light. I was kind of low on this because I got um, better armor once I completed Golgroth and the Death Singers and the Oryx. I am 310 currently right now, and I'm ready to fight Oryx, but I have not found a team yet. I do have some friends, but they're like never on. So hopefully I can get Oryx done sometime this week, or at least before challenge mode, I'm hoping. So here we're taking out our last bubble. I think this is, um, we have this one and one more until we finish Golgroth. So I think this is our second to last one until we kill Golgroth. So here and also when taken spawn i think it's like the third run th uh third or fourth run of Golgroth, uh with the bubble once you take it down taken will start spawning underneath and whenever you take down the bubble taken will spawn where the cursed thrall spawn behind you so it's best to have a titan because the bubbles do help a ton with the weapons of light and if they have blessing they can also help as well but weapons is recommended because of the damage with the snipers is insane and the taken do um disturb you when you're doing that so it's best to have like a nice luck or a storm caller take them out with their super or grenade and you'll be fine so i think this is our last bubble when we take out gogroth on hard mode we were really excited when we did it my rewards were a th were 311 boots uh harrowed boots for the hunter which i was pretty excited about getting because my boots were only like 299 um before when we first started this fight so this is where we finish gogroth off and i guess this will wrap up on how to kill gogroth on hard mode if you guys enjoyed don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys later back inside destiny peace